don't share my coding screen because we don't share code during the contest, but just right here. <laughs> Please solve. Please share code. Why are you live? Bro, some of these people are so down bad, man. What the fuck? How do people cheat usually? If the questions are original, the only way I can think of cheating would be several people doing the contest together and actually sharing solutions. I'm sure there's people who do that. Dude, if you've ever, if you've ever, I have it. There's some guy here. I think his name is Alex. Alex does leak code. Yeah, this guy. The number of people who hop in to Simon's chat on YouTube, they'll go to Simon's chat on YouTube, on, on specifically on YouTube, not Twitch. And they'll ask him, hey, do you have any hints on how to do this problem? You look at this guy. He live streams all of his stuff too. The number of people who like ask him, hey, what, what's your answer for the second question? I need a little bit of help is pretty impressive right here look at this i just pulled this random video up is question three a dp problem question mark right there's there are definitely people i wouldn't be surprised if there's like some like little communities of people who are doing that that's not going to make the most of it though uh, probably a lot of people I mean, if you want to cheat like the only thing you can use is ai right um so it has to be chat gbt most likely i guess people are like small brained just use just put in the chat gbt and if you never submit, Leco doesn't subtract ELO. So what a lot of people do, or not a lot of people, what people, some people do is they look to see if they can look at every question, they solve it, but they just never click submit. And then that allows them to never lose ELO basically, because once you click submit, you can lose ELO, but if they just read the question, they solve it out on paper. So this person, they read the questions to see if they could solve it. And then once they could solve all of them, then they submitted everyone at the same time. Yeah, that's BS. Yeah. That's the, that's the exploit. Uh, definitely an, an exploit. You should get zero points for no submitting. Yeah, I feel like you should, but Leco doesn't care at all. I mean, I don't, yeah, like I said, I don't really like Leco as a platform, but are they thinking? Yeah, I, I think it's, it feels like Leco doesn't really care about, I mean, even contest integrity too. Like it is, it is not hard to kind of like check. I feel like cheating is not that hard. Like if it's Leco's website, like they should have like monitors and logs on everybody's like code editor. I don't think it's a hard thing to implement but they just don't really want to. I mean, it's just like their priorities. I'm not even sure like really what they do spending their time. It just seems like they're just spending time putting up questions that can be done in interviews and they hire people. So they hire like really smart engineers to do that, but they don't really do site maintenance or anything. It's like handing in a blank paper. Yeah. Uh, no condom. Chris told me this too, that like there's a lot of fake sites or there's a lot of fake users from like China. I guess you don't see them here. You don't see them here. On one of them, I saw like a ton of fake, just bots, obviously, obviously bots. They were like inflating like the total number of contestants. These, there's a lot of Chinese bots, uh, a lot of Chinese bots, but Linko doesn't do anything about it. So here we have focused Matsumoto, amazing hyphen Teresh, beautiful hyphen Shockley, silly hyphen, looks like randomly generated numbers, agitated hyphen, optimistic hyphen, suspicious hyphen, practical hyphen, right? These are obviously bots, but Linko doesn't care. The, I just don't, I don't think it's their priority. It seems like their priority is just putting out questions and maybe just resting investing. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they just laid off all of their, what is the purpose of these bots? I don't know. I don't, I have no idea. I have no idea. Someone is doing it though. Somebody is like doing it for some reason, for some benefit, but yeah, it seems like Leco is just resting investing. So I wouldn't be surprised if they hired only like two engineers that they're paying and then they have people who are putting in questions so they can kind of like keep, keep getting questions going, keep people like on the sites and then have it kind of self-sustaining to where they don't have to do anything and they can just collect money off their premium subscriptions. Like, mm, I don't know. Let's say like you had like, I don't know. Let's say like Leco had like people paying like $15 a month or something. I mean, they could probably just bank off what 300 K a month, $300,000 a month. That's like pretty nice. And they don't have to hire engineers. They don't have to do anything. Like everything is just maintenance, right? Like you keep one engineer on. So stuff's not bad, but you know, maybe one or two, maybe five. I don't know. Just give them a, give them a little bit of peace, but then just, just rest and vest. Like you don't need to do anything. You, you are the dominant platform. Are every question they create actually original questions? I mean, they I'm, they do hire people. I think they have like a job posting here that says like, hey, do you want to make Leetcode questions? We'll pay you. 
And so they just pay somebody like a little bit of the money that they're making from their premium subscriptions. And then I guess they have company questions too and stuff. But yeah, they have like one for hiring. So I'm pretty sure they are original. Like I, I think they're actually paying like legit people. And they probably like screen them. Um, no condom Chris's theory was that the Chinese bots are for boosting like their numbers for investors, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. So when they tell you your place X, I got a 30,000, you're actually much worse because of the bots. Well, not too much. There's actually only like 2000 bots, only like 2000 Chinese bots. Also, I think it's for China, right? So I think it's only for China stuff. I want to say like. Like the reason that it didn't come up when I did this one is because China wasn't included. Whoops. Because China wasn't included. But yeah, once you get to like the China thing, then then it's it's there. So this is like 38,000 people or 35,000. But it's probably accurate because I think when it starts, the the number is actually based off the United States. Like there's no there's no Chinese people here. Not on this fresh one because they haven't included it yet. If you're placed below top five percent, you're probably better. Since there's so many cheaters, yeah, that too. There's a lot of cheaters too. So I mean, especially on this contest, this weekly contest, there is a lot of cheaters. Or not the weekly one, the biweekly, right? The biweekly here. There's a lot of cheaters. And I'm not good enough at bit manipulation to do that problem or DP or whatever. But yeah, let's see here. Yeah, no, Malika doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> they do not care. They are collecting their bag, man. Getting a juicy bag. The biggest of bags. 150. Oh wait, no, I did it too early, too early. How do people cheat usually? If the questions are original, the only way I could think of cheating would be several people doing the contest together and actually sharing solutions. I'm sure there's people who do that. Dude, if you've ever, if you've ever, I have it. There's some guy here, I think his name is Alex. Alex does leak code, yeah, this guy. The number of people who hop in to Simon's chat on YouTube. They'll go to Simon's chat on YouTube, on, on specifically on YouTube, not Twitch. And they'll ask him, hey, do you have any hints on how to do this problem? You look at this guy, he live streams all of his stuff too. The number of people who like ask him, hey, what, what's your answer for the second question? I need a little bit of help is pretty impressive. Right here, look at this. I just pulled this random video up. Is question three a DP problem? Question mark, right? There's There are definitely people I wouldn't be surprised if there's like some like little communities of people who are doing that. That's not going to make the most of it though. Uh, probably a lot of people, I mean, if you want to cheat, like the only thing you can use is AI, right? Um, so it has to be chat GPT most likely, I guess if people are like small brained, just use, just put in the chat GPT and, and see if it solves it. Um, but chat GPT is not perfect. So chat GPT is not a competitive programmer, so it's not going to be good. It's massive telegram chats. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like WhatsApp groups, uh, telegram chats, but like these people are pretty shameless. This is the contest is going on as he's solving this. I believe, I believe he usually timestamps them. So I don't know if he, uh, he usually timestamps is like contest starts here and these are live. I'm pretty sure, but I, I don't hop into his streams, So I, I don't know how live live it is, but. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I just saw the pre-contest thing and I saw contest starts here and it was like live. So I don't know if maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I might be wrong in that he's, this is like a pre-recording, but cause I'm seeing drawings and stuff that he's doing, but I don't know. Right? Like these are lives and then it says contest starts.
right? I didn't look at it, but like, mm, right? So this one's like more of a discussion one, right? He finished the contest, but I, I think beforehand he hadn't done it pre-contest, right? There is no contest here. Quite often problems will appear when contest starts. And then contest starts like five minutes of this live stream. And then he's like drawing stuff. Yeah. Or delay. Yeah. Yeah. Or that. Yeah. So I, I don't know if this guy is, maybe he's not, I don't know. Actually, I, I don't tune into his live stream. So I don't know like what time he's starting or if there's delay or something like that whatever but but um the point the point thing i did want to bring up is just that there are people in chat who are like asking like what is the question of this one just kind of weird but i mean people do the exact same thing in simon's chat for, on on his youtube channel not twitch go back he had a disclaimer in his chat kind of fucked to stream it but he has a chat first name so i forgive him nice Nice. Oh, uh, let me go to my my thing. Oh no, what's happening, man? Uh, here, here, here. Stair, stair. I don't know. What the, I don't know what the stair was for. He had a disclaimer in his chat. I don't share my coding screen because we don't share code during the contest, but just right here. <laughs> Please solve. Please share code. Why are you live? Bro, some of these people are so down bad, man. What the fuck? Imagine this person's writing. Uh, you guys can't see it here, right? Solve. Please share code. So why are you live? Why would you not share code? <laughs> Fuck this guy, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw this. I was like, wow, what a, like, it's pretty sleazy. Pretty sleazy. I, I didn't pay attention to really what he was doing, though. Just, like, what's happening in his chat is, like, crazy. It's crazy. I mean, he's, like, you know, fully interacting, I think it feels like. That's what it kind of feels like. But yeah, there's Alex does lead code. Alex does lead code. What's up? Bruh, during the contest sometimes, just the tag, giving the tags, they're probably going to make so much of a difference. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, we saw right as the end. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but anyways, Solaris. Yeah, that is like a, I guess a glimpse into some of the cheating stuff. And just Lee Code as a platform. I, I don't, I really don't like Lee Code. Honestly, at Coder, I'm on the at Coder train. But that's because, mostly just because they have Saturday morning contests. So like, I'm not going to do the Lee Code contest, but I am going to do the at Coder tomorrow. Because like, it's just like so, it's like so nice, man. So refreshing to wake up on a nice early morning, get some coding in. As I'm like streaming right now too, early in the morning, woke up at like six in the morning, just working, man, just working. And at coder has like clarifications. There's no like ambiguity or it feels like there's less ambiguity. I don't know, man. It's just a vibe, just the vibe. But I, yeah, man, dude, Lee Cook is making like so much money. I, I, trying to think a little bit about there's no way I could capitalize on that, but it, the hard part about making a platform like lead code is the brand matters a lot. So there's no, I don't think there's a way to make another lead code like binary search, unless you get a ton of influencers on board. If I like message neat code and I get neat codes, like 600,000 audience, Malvi job landed, no jobs, no jobs. But they won't let me use Python. Yeah, that's a problem with that coder. Yeah, at coder doesn't let you use. I mean, you can use Python, but like, it's like kind of weird stuff with uh, time complexities and all that. But I think I think it's fine. At least in my experience, A, B, and C 
are like i think i feel like this is actually a b c and d are like the equivalent of like all of elite code problem and i feel like maybe with these like these are like the ones that actually time out i think a couple time out actually but maybe they do i don't know but i'm, I'm not an expert on at coder but like hmm you know actually the idea would be that like you create recreate leak code like do like a binary search like come alive the only problem is you have to make all the questions yourself that's not too hard that is hard that's a lot of work to make all the contests yourself or all the problems yourself but i don't think it's an impossible task but then the second thing that you're that you're downsided about is you don't have any users so you're not gonna have any contest discussions um you could probably put out contests but like you need to populate it with people and I think the only way you do that is with influencers. Like you would need to have like neat code, um, probably contact like Erecto or something. I don't think he makes content anymore, but all of like the top elite coders, you'd have to like give and then give them like a slice of it, you know, so they're incentivized or whatever. So Nico did like 700 K right subs. Mm, but the problem too, is that like, nobody really has any issues with lead code. So some people do though. So maybe it would work for them. But anyway, this is me thinking about a business idea, but I think that could like, I think it's possible to redo binary search. This probably, it would have been better a year ago when layoffs actually happened because there was a ton of supply of programmers who were needed to do leak out stuff, but, but yeah. Yeah. Medicine's on a grid. Yeah. I think it, yeah, I think that one crashed. I think I remember, I think I saw you solving it or something. I don't know, actually. Which at code was that? Was that like 348 or something? I feel like it was like pretty recent. This was it, yeah. Whoa, I got it, 348. Yeah, I feel like for, for like A, B, and C, and maybe D, like you can do it with Python. And I feel like doing these is like the equivalent of like a late code contest, but I don't know. Yeah, I never found never found the I couldn't be solved with Python. Yeah, Solaris, there's there's a lot of like or at least from what Glump has said, there are Code Forces people who like are very top rated at Code Forces and they just have to use like Python optimizations basically to to pull through like for the submission. I don't know anything about that though, but I think one thing people say is that you're supposed to use recursion, I think. Or you don't use recursion, you're also supposed to come up with iterative solutions more. Yeah, avoid deep recursion, yeah. So you're supposed to use the iterative solution because recursion is like bad for memory or whatever. Can you use Python in code courses? How to submit Python. Wow, 200 views. Nice. How to start competitive programming for beginners. Wow, oh my gosh. Arikto. Lex Friedman. This is a guide to how to start competitive programming. What does he say? The verdict, how to start. I don't like these timestamps. They don't make any sense. Oh, they're chap auto generated. That makes more sense. Maybe I can optimize with A star. I don't think I've tried that past 40 out of 43 cases. Okay, anyways, so now we're going to go into this stuff. So I think what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, did we finish these? Oh, based. Got TLDRs for all of them. So now we just need to do proximity service. So then do some TLDRs on this one, clean up my notes and do this maybe for an hour, another hour.